Hey, bless you, that Grateful Gab family. I want to make sure everybody know one thing. Don't ever declare that the enemy has won. I repeat that. Do not ever declare that the enemy has won. Satan tries, he tries and tries. But guess what? Jehovah defeats him every time. Satan might win some battles here and there, but he'll never win the war. Thank you, Father God. Thank you for sending your angels for protection. Thank you for sending your angels for love. <sighs> Thank you for sending your angels for guidance. Truly, it's, truly it's a blessing. Thank you for giving us your son, Jesus Christ, to be the head, the leader of your kingdom. We thank you. We love you. We love you. Thank you for your victories over our life. Thank you for our protection over our life. Thank you for our righteousness over our life. We love you, Heavenly Father Jehovah. From this day until the last. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Welcome in to Wellness Wednesday. Great for Gab family. About to do the uh, daily verse and then get it directly to the health topic. Daily verse for the day of August 21st, 2024. Arise from the book of Psalm, chapter 118, verse 6. And it states says as follows Jehovah is on my side. I will not be afraid. What can man do to me? Amen. And again, it's from the book of Psalms. Chapter 118, verse 6. And this morning, ladies and gentlemen, for Wellness Wednesday, I'm getting information from Healthline.com. Again, Healthline.com. And now I'll be going over the uh, COPD awareness or the chronic obstructive pulmonary disease awareness. Um, maybe not a lot of people know about this. I, this is new to me. Um, I just I just happened to see this article uh, while I was looking up some health topics, and I, and I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, and I might get directly into it. So chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is a disease that damages your lungs over time. It may start with mild symptoms and then get worse. Treatment can help symptoms and slow disease progression. What is COPD? Chronic obstructive pul pulmonary disease, commonly referred to as COPD, is a group of progressive lung diseases. The most common of these diseases are emphysema and chronic bronchitis. Many people with COPD have both of these conditions. Emphysema slowly destroys air sacs in your lungs, which interferes with outward airflow. Bronchitis causes inflammation and narrowing of the bronchial tubes, which allows mucus to build up. It's estimated that about 30 million people in the United States have COPD. As many as half are unaware that they have it. Untreated COPD can lead to faster progression of disease, heart problems, and worsening respiratory infections. Symptoms of COPD may feel it's harder to breathe sometimes. The symptoms may be mild at first. And they may start with a small cough here and there, shortness of breath. And as it progresses, the symptoms become much more consistent. All right, so that means uh, you have in increasingly diff difficulty to breathe. Uh, again, you have uh, wheezing, tightness in your chest, um, things of that nature. So if you have some of these symptoms, um, even if it's not consistent, but if you have some of these symptoms, you know, uh, more than once in e more than once every blue moon, you need to make sure that uh, you, get, you get that taken care of for sure. So, um, again, early symptoms include occasional short breath, especially after exercise. Mild but recurrent cough, needing to clear your throat often, especially first thing in the morning. That's probably a big thing, so make sure y'all pay attention to that. Needed to clear your throat often, especially first thing in the morning. Okay. Worsening symptoms are as follows. Shortness of breath after even mild forms of exercise, like walking up a flight of stairs. Wheezing, which is a type of higher pitched noisy breathing, especially during exhalations chest tightness, chronic cough with or without mucus, need to clear mucus from lungs every day, frequent colds, flu, or other respiratory infections, also lack of energy. Later stages of COPD, symptoms may also include fatigue, swelling of the feet, ankles, or legs, and weight loss. Symptoms are likely to be much worse if you currently smoke or regularly exposed to secondhand smoke. Emergency treatment. 
Seek in medical, excuse me, seek immediate medical care. If you have bluish or gray fingernails or lips, as that as this indicates low oxygen levels in your blood. If you have trouble catching your breath or can't talk, you feel confused, muddled, or faint, and your heart is racing. If you have any of these symptoms, please seek medical attention immediately. Causes. Causes of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Most people with COD are at least 40 years and up and have at least some history of smoking. The longer and more tobacco products you smoke, the greater risk of your COPD. In addition to cigarette smoke, cigarette smoke, pipe smoke, and secondhand smoke, and excuse me, cigarette smoke, cigar smoke, pipe smoke, and secondhand smoke can cause COPD. Your risk of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is greater if you have asthma and smoke. The causes. You can also develop COPD if you're exposed to chemicals and fumes in the workplace. Long-term exposure to air pollution and inhaling dust can also cause COPD. On um, poor ventilated homes, um, so maybe in these smaller countries, uh, less uh these poverty-stricken areas in America and these in these third world countries around the world that have uh, minimal resources to really um, take care of their homes and, and, and insulate their houses. They have uh, poor ventilation, things of that nature. So even when you sleep, uh, if, if you have these type of things, I would recommend getting like air cleaning machines. They have uh, machines that, you know, you can, you can clean your air and those type of things. So I'm um, just, just try to find ways that you can take care of yourself and your family, even when you have, you know, little, uh, you know, little resources or something like that. So, and make sure we always pray, you know, Jehovah can cure and help anything. Excuse me. Also more causes is genetic, uh, predisposition. So, uh, if somebody had it in your family before, um, if they have a deficiency in protein called alpha one anti trispin, anti trispin. Um, so, uh, things of that nature. So make sure you know your, your genetic, uh, history. Uh, you know, ask your parents, ask their parents, things of that nature. Um, diagnosis for COPD. So there's no single test for COPD. Diagnosis is based on symptoms of physical exam and diagnostic test results. So when you visit your doctor, be sure to mention all of your symptoms. Tell your doctor if you're a smoker or have smoked in the past. If you uh, expose your lungs to irritants on the job, so if you work around chemicals, um, things of that nature. Um, if you're exposed to a lot of secondhand smoke, um, you know, I, this is something I would recommend. You know, you see people smoke, you know, move away because uh, people will whip out a cigarette anywhere. Trust me, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've, 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 I've you know, pe people be around kids, athletics, all type of stuff. But just be aware of your surrounding. You see people smoking, you don't want to be a part of that. Move, move yourself away from that area. Um, again, family history. So make sure you know your family history. Um, if you have asthma or other respiratory conditions, and also if you take over the over the counter uh, prescriptions or prescribed medications for uh, your respiratory. So make sure you bring that up. Um, treatments are as follows: You have oxygen uh, therapy. Excuse me. If your blood oxygen levels are too low. You can receive supplemental oxygen through a mask or nasal cannula um, to help you breathe better. Um, surgeries, you have different types of surgeries, lung transplants, um, voluptomies, things of that nature. So uh, be aware of uh, receiving blood. Um, Jehovah speaks highly about blood and, and the respect and how sacred blood is. So, um, you know, if you have if you if you don't need blood. Reject the blood. If you do need blood, reject the blood. Still give give it to Jehovah, and um, just just, just let's just work better on being more healthy. Um, that's just the big thing. So, um, again, I got this information from Healthline.com. I want to uh, bring awareness to color. Uh, excuse me. Let me get it back up. Let me, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. I was about to say culminary. Um, but yeah. So, uh, COPD. I wanted to give awareness on that and. Again, if you have any of these signs and symptoms, you, you know, any of your family have any of these signs and symptoms that stick out to you, please bring it to their attention to let them know, hey, you might have X, Y, Z, you need to go get checked on. OK, because it's important for us to be able to take care of ourselves and to be able to notice things to take care of our family. So um, on that note, again, y'all be blessed. I love y'all. Take care. Truly, truly take care of yourselves, man. Drink water. Um, 
work out, you know, move around, whatever we can do to try to stay as healthy as possible, make sure we do that. Jehovah gives us the options to make choices and control things that we can. So make sure you do those things. Choose wisely and uh, make the best of it. I love y'all. Make sure y'all tune in tomorrow for the sports huddle with myself and my cousin, Matt. Matt, make sure y'all go check him out on Just Unconventional Podcast. Again, just uh, just un- excuse me, just unconventional podcast is where you can um, check out my cousin Matthew. So uh, we love y'all, appreciate y'all again. Tune in tomorrow for the sports huddle, and until next time, be blessed. Peace.